Hi everyone, it's Mari. I'm back today with another project for the Vicky Booten design team. I have a 12 by 12 scrapbooking layout for you today using the gorgeous Color Study collection. And I was really inspired by some of the different elements in Color Study to choose my color combination today. So I'm going to be talking about that during my process. I'm going to start off here with a piece of white cardstock and I decided to add some Distress Oxide ink to my background with this stamp here. I'm going to be adding some Kitsch Flamingo and some dried marigold to my background here to create the mixed media and I really wanted to do a pink and orange color scheme and with a little bit of yellow. This is a color scheme that or a color combo that I absolutely really really love i think it's super pretty and i've definitely used uh, pink and orange together in other projects and today i just thought this is actually a color combination that runs throughout the collection and so what i did was i chose some um, ephemera some different elements a stamp and that kind of thing to uh, create the project using that color combination so here you can just see I'm adding the ink to the stamp and then adding a little bit of water to the stamp on top of the ink mixing that up and then adding it onto the white cardstock to add that color this is my Tim Holtz decal edge trimmer I'm going to trim out a 2.5 by 2.5 inch black and white square photo here and you can just see that I'm using the obviously the trimmer to create this really fun decal edge um, finish on my photograph here so I'm just going to leave a little bit of a white border now the reason why I did that in that order is I was waiting for my background to dry so while I waited for that to dry I got the the photograph ready to go and here you can see I'm going to be using one of the color study stamp sets this stamp set is called it's all good and I really love the kind of like the ink splatter stamp that's in that set and I wanted to use that to create a little bit more of a mixed media impression on my background here with the Kitsch Flamingo and also with my dried marigold and I love this dried marigold color it's so pretty the Distress Oxide ink is just a really really nice color now I'm going to use one of the bubbles stencils from the color study stencil sets there's two sets of stencils in the collection this uh, pie chart uh, stencil is so much fun. I love it. And of course, circles are always fun to work with on a project. I'm just using a little bit of texture paste here through the stencil. And I'm just using my Vicky Booten spatula here to add that through. I'm not worried about getting all of the circles in there. Obviously, I just want sort of like a little triangle here. I want some circles at the top, some circles to the left, and some circles to the right. And I really had planned to do... Um, center orientation of my photograph here so that's why I decided to do my mixed media in the center of this white cardstock so I have that beautiful free open white space all the way around the entire layout which I absolutely love now I have a piece of foundations paper on my desk and I'm going to stamp out using the florals from the it's all good stamp set from color study I'm going to stamp out with the kitsch flamingo and the dried marigold and I'm going to stamp some of the large flowers in pink and some in the orange and then I'm going to stamp one of the smaller stamps as well in those same colors and I'm going to fussy cut these out and then create layered embellishments in that way now the beautiful thing about having the stamp sets to Vicky's collections is you can create your own DIY embellishments if you'd like and in that in that way you can stay true to whatever color combination that you're working on so in this case I really wanted to stay true true to the pink and orange and so I decided to go ahead and use that stamp to create my own um, embellishments my own unique DIY embellishments here so not unique because I'm sure lots of you have tried this but unique as in they're not in the collection as a pre-made die cut you can make them yourself and the fun thing about this stamp set is you can make all different combinations of stamped images and create all sorts of fun different embellishments so love that and I love that a stamp set just is the gift that keeps on giving you can use the stamp set over and over and over and over again and it never gets used up so I love that about a stamp and I always love to have a stamp as part of a collection 
just going to finish up stamping out. I'm not going to use all of these, but I just thought, you know what, I might as well stamp out a bunch of these while I have everything out and I'm going for it. And I'll use these on other projects like cards or layouts or whatever. Now here you can see I have them fussy cut. I'm going to fussy cut and add more than just these three. I'm actually going to add five of these different florals to my background, but you can just see how soft and lovely they are. They just look so pretty with the, the colors that are already down because they're the same color. And of course, this color combo is gorgeous. So I'm just going to put a little bit of foam adhesive on the center of each one of the florals and then add the smaller floral to the bottom. I've got that vellum pink butterfly from the, the um, die cut packs there that I've pulled out for an embellishment that I want to use. I want to back my sweet little photo here with a piece of pattern paper from the 8x6 paper pad. I love this tone on tone orange. It's just perfect. I didn't want to introduce another color. I didn't want any black. I just wanted just this really nice soft um, orange piece as my background for my photo. Now I am going to just use my tonic distressing tool here. Just going to go ahead and make that a rough up the edges of this paper here a little bit. And that is going to just provide a little bit of extra texture to the photo mat layers. And I am going to adhere that to the back of my photograph here. And I believe I used dimensional adhesive for that. I can't remember now. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Maybe I'll show it. I do definitely add layers in my photo mat um, area. If I don't add to the photo and the, this paper, I definitely do to the other layers that are in the photo mat that you'll see here coming up. So I'm just kind of eyeballing, trying to decide the placement of the photo and the embellishments. I picked out a couple of other die cut pieces. I've got a phrase there that's going to go on the photo. There you can see that I am adding a little bit of foam adhesive to the back of the photo there. And that's going to create that dimension in my photo mat layers. I've also chosen out that uh, pink and orange tag, which I absolutely love. It does have a little yellow reinforcement. So there are little pops of yellow here and there on the layout, but primarily I'm using pink and orange. This little die cut piece was just perfect for a layer behind my photograph there. And I love that. So I am going to use that. And I just wanted to add a little bit more texture to that as well with my distressing tool. So I'm going to just stick that in behind the photo and let's see, what else am I gonna do? I think I'm thinking about that tag and trying to decide what I want to do with that. And at this point, I'm gonna stick the photo to that die cut piece there. And I'm just taking a look, making sure I have that place the way that I want it. And now I'm gonna try that tag. And the tag, of course, is really long for that spot so and I don't want to waste the bottom part of it so I'm just going to tear it and use the top part of the tag. I will put a little bit of foam adhesive on the front of it because it's going to stick on the back of the ephemera above it and just creates a nice dimension again with that area. So here you can just see everything's super dimensional. Love that. Nice and uh, lots of texture. And here you can see I've added the other two DIY flowers and I've also added that chipboard circle to the right of the photo. I could have 100 of those chipboard circles from the chipboard sheet. If you haven't been able to pick up that chipboard sheet from Color Study yet or those chipboard sheets, get them because they are amazing. And there's just so many good bits on that on those chipboard sheets. And I just wanted to finish up this, um, this bottom embellishment here by adding the foam adhesive on that as well. And just going to get that stuck under there. Just want that kind of poking out from underneath the photo. I did leave tons of space on this layout for journaling. This is not a layout for me. This is a layout for a friend. I've been scrapbooking a series of photos of her children for her. And every time I finish one, it goes into the stack for her. And then every once in a while, I get together with her and pass off the layouts to her. So 
she loves it and I love working with her photos her kids are adorable so you can just see this sweet little girl here in this photograph now I have put a little um, bit of twine that I tied in a bow in on the reinforcement of that tag and now I've just watered down some of the kitsch flamingo and I'm just going to splatter that all around the outside edges of all the layers and on top of the flowers and that kind of thing but I don't want anything on my photo so I have covered the photo up and here you can just see I'm splattering away just living my life with the splatters here having a good time splattering and it is nice to have the kitsch flamingo watered down quite a bit just because it it is obviously more fluid that way you can get um, a nicer variation of size of splatters and I'm going to do the same thing with a dried marigold water that down splatter that on just love this color combination so much and I always love Vicky's um, color combos in her collections. They're always amazing. And Color Study, of course, is no exception. It is beautiful. And here you can just see, I'm going to finish up with my dried marigold there. And I'm never going to be satisfied um, without adding more of those chipboard pieces because they are so fun. And there happens to be the a few little floral chipboard pieces that are in the pink and orange color combo with a little bit of yellow mixed in there too if it looks green it's because the um, foiling on these embellishment pieces are kind of iridescent so if they're turned a certain way or in the light they might look green but in real life when you're looking at it without a camera um, they look more iridescent or gold than anything else and they're beautiful they look so lovely and I just wanted them kind of in a triangle pattern on my layout with my embellishments and now I'm just going to add of course some white splatter I will cover up my photograph and I will add some white splatter here I wanted to dump this out because I wanted to use my fan brush which that will not fit in the Dina Wakely gloss spray bottle <laughs> you have to pour it out to get the fan brush working uh, the fan brush is wet and I've dipped into that gloss spray which waters it down a little bit and then you get just um, still some really dimensional splatter but it um, just flows off the brush a little bit more easily. And I love using a fan brush to do the splatters. It's just awesome. So I'm going to do those white um, splatters and then I'm also going to do some gold splatters on here as well. I'm just going to choose a smaller piece of cardstock to cover up that photo because I do want to make sure that I get splatters on the left of the photo as well without disturbing the splatters I've already put on the right. So that larger piece of cardstock's not gonna work or that piece of paper that I had over there. So I just got that smaller piece there. I'm done with the white and now I'm just taking a look at it and seeing how it looks and I'm realizing that the photograph is crooked but I'll fix that later and I'm loving it. I love all the white space. You know that's one of my favorite types of layouts to do is just using a lot of white space which is lovely. I do love using the pattern paper as well. Don't get me wrong. Of course I do and Vicky's is the best. Um, but sometimes I just also really like to have um, some white space on my projects as well. So that's what I was going for here today. So I am going to splatter with the gold and that is basically going to finish off my layout. I'm going to show you a little bit of a close up here at the end and or at least just show you the finished layout and that is going to be it. So I hope you were inspired today to get into that color study and choose a color combo that you love for your project. I'm just showing where some um, journaling can go on the layout and it's all finished. Thanks for joining me today, friends. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.